Peace. Thank you for joining once again. My name is Illa G, and welcome to another episode of A Beautiful Lie. A Beautiful Lie I created. Uh, it comes from a song that I have with the same name. And I just want to tell everybody and people that you know, want to enter the street or in the street that the streets is a beautiful lie. You know, she doesn't care about you. When you get locked up, she's not going to write you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the streets love her, even but never see a shape. Never, you know, she doesn't give a fuck about you. Um, also, I, I'm creating this so parents can communicate with their kids. That is a big thing because there's a, a lack of communication in there. And a lot of parents do not know what their sons or daughter are doing. And, you know, they need to know what you're into and what your plans are to help them escalate to another level. You know what I'm saying? I explained earlier that I thought I was a burden to my mother, so on and so forth. So create that conversation with your kids. You know, what plans do you have that you need to express to them to not make them feel like they need to go out and take it? Or, you know what I'm saying? You need to find out their path. With this episode, well, well first of all, as always, this episode is brought to you by Illa Apparel. Bow, this is the New York Minute shirt with Trav. Um, go to Illa Apparel on Shopify.com. I will leave the link in the description. Illa Apparel, where hip-hop meets comfort. I like to be comfortable. Make sure you go check that out. We have a lot of amazing things. With that being said, this episode, we're going to talk about learn your kid's confidence level. Let's work. What is your kid's confidence level? Do you know? Have you spoke to them about it? You know, because I remember my oldest son paying attention, like him playing the game, right? He played NBA. So my oldest son is dark skin. So I'm like, uh, I noticed he kept making his play a light skin. What's wrong with that? Yo, I had to pull him aside one day. Why you keep making your player light skin? He was like, oh, you know, he tell me that, uh, you know, he's kind of felt he wanted to be light skin a little bit or something like that. I'm like, nah, I grabbed him. Took him into the bathroom, to the mirror. Look at yourself. Right? What do you see? He didn't have an answer. I'm like, you are a king. Never be embarrassed of who you are. You are a king. You look good. And he's, you know, he's a, a, a ladies' man. Like, he loves women. But, so I told him, I was like, look, man, a lot of light-skinned girls, and they love chocolate dudes. So never be embarrassed about your skin tone. Believe me, a lot of people wish they had it. And the biggest smile came on his face, and... I've seen his confidence level boost after that. After that, he never made a play on the game, light skin again. And he owned his skin tone, his confidence, everything. Proud. And I ask him all the time, when you look at both sons, I ask him, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? The answer is you see a king. So I need y'all to do that with y'all kings and queens. Find out what that confidence level is. Let's see what that is. What's your confidence level, mother, father? You know, not hidden. What is your confidence level in yourself? Because that exudes, and now my son blames me. Oh, it's sure full. I am the way I am. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, I'm picking too. So what? But it's my confidence level. I have a confidence that uh knock everybody down when it comes down to confidence. Another thing is... Ask your kids what's their goals. Do you know what their goals are? Parents, what are your goals? What do you want to do? What are you striving for? Because without these things, there's an emptiness. And when there's an emptiness, people want to fulfill that. And they want to fill that space up that's empty. And that's when it goes to the streets. 
you know, because Pooh Bear or whatever the fuck the names is now out there, you know, they like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That 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 old son knocked him out or whatever. They said they confuse that with love. And it's fulfilling the thing that they're missing that they're not getting. So parents, if you don't have a goal, you need to find one. And show your your teen or your youth, your son, your daughter, so they can follow that path. So they can see, so they don't have to reach in the street because the streets is not gonna, it's gonna do them dirty. Never gonna make it. There is no, like, life insurance. Well, there is life insurance, but there is no, like, grants or everything for being in the street. Either you're in death or jail. That's it. And when you go to jail, a lot of y'all can't handle it. Y'all gonna put the pressure on the parents, on your girlfriends, on the other, you know, whoever you have in your family. Oh, come see me. Oh, send me money. Uh, but no, you put yourself there. So let's figure out the goals. Parents, please find a goal. If you don't have one, go. If you do, express it to your kids so they can see and they'd be like oh well I need to get a goal too because this is what it is everything you know you keeping your your things silent from your kids they don't know what's going on so it's like okay this video game is raising me and you know I'm getting uh, advice from people that's just as fucked up as them it's like the, that's what they say is the blind leading the blind so let's talk to them about that on that thing. Teach them about peer pressure in a way that hits home to them. Yeah, peer pressure is real. It is real. And when you're around people, you know what I'm saying, I'm a victim of it. You know, you do things and because something happened and they didn't get caught right away and then there's a uh, you know things occur and after you get chased excuse the ghetto bikes go by but something happened and you know I know we used to get chased or whatever and come back and we're laughing and we assumed that was fun because it was laughing and you looking and see people laughing like oh well this must be fun the way it is peer pressure then you know after a while you're not putting in work people want to see you put in work well we did it why you ain't doing it or we doing this why you ain't doing it you know we drinking why you ain't drinking you smoking why you ain't smoking so get to them in a way that it hits home find out what they like you know you should know that as a parent it uh, takes a few few minutes to ask what are, what are you into what do you like you know what do you really like what do you want to do with yourself and that way you can reference my oldest son I have all the references that I do things is to basketball because that's the way he gets it if I reference a situation and quarter the basketball to his favorite players and situations he understands it the little one, I just be straight like he just gets it. You know, I, that boy is on the level of him, but he just gets it. I'm, I'm not. They're both good kids, but still, you gotta explain things to him. You know what I'm saying? Plus, slight threat here and there. Doesn't hurt. Keeps him up the street. Um, what else we gonna go with? Uh. There, basically, I was going to talk about uh, my first time trying to rob a drug dealer. Really wasn't ready for it, but I was with it to go with it. I was with it to get it popping anyway. I said with it to go with it because I heard it. Never, uh, 
Never forget that East New York, pink houses, cousin. Um, I was excited. I was nervous. The niggas gave me a big, <laughs> gave me a big ass revolver. Nickel plated. I don't know if it was a 38 or a 357. Looked like a 357. <sighs> Our plan was to rob a drug dealer. And, you know, my job was to throw the hammer in his face. And I honestly say to this day, I really wasn't ready for it. But the fact that it was on, you know, I probably said things to make people believe I was ready for it, which I was fronting, didn't think it would come down to it. And we went, luckily, where the drug dealer was supposed to be, he wasn't there. And we didn't go through it. And, you know, that whole time, see, like, time moved slow, heart was racing, and I was very happy. But I still fucked up down the line, you know, being the fact that happened with it, it moved me closer to throwing bricks towards the fucking jail cells. And eventually, they opened the door and let me in. So, that's it for now, man. Just, one, learn your kids' confidence. Two, ask your kids what their goals are. If you don't have goals, make up goals for yourself. Teach your kids about peer pressure. And, yeah, learn a way that it relates to them with peer pressure. So let's do that. Parents, friends, family, you know, I know you love your nieces and nephews. I know you love your kids. Not saying you don't, but you need to speak with them. I don't want to see no more of us be a body or go to jail, especially the way things are going now. And we have to deal with police that don't respect us and they don't value our lives so we have to respect it and overcome this situation don't throw bricks toward the jail cell don't be quick to end your life for something for ignorance and you don't understand it so thank you for watching share with your family share with your friends parents talk to your kids parents Open that dialogue. Open that relationship. You know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean you cannot be strict or parent, but it's enough so they can, you can understand each other where there's no conflict and the way you have to work with it. There's no, there's no uh, rules and regulations to this. Every individual is different. So each kid you have have to learn how to deal with each one of them because they're going to have traits of you, traits of your brother, traits of their uncle, everything. Got to know how to deal with them. Thank you once again. My name is Illa G. Once again, uh, Illa Apparel. The link will be in the description. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. That is very, very important. You know what I'm saying? Very important so I can understand how everything is going and it lets me know how it's affecting you. Please, you know, if you want to ask me a question, leave a comment and I will make sure I will comment back. So once again, for a beautiful lie, I am Miller G. Just remember, she doesn't care about you. The streets is a beautiful lie. Salute.